Hi friends, it's the second wheel here. So I came to the realization that I never, uh, my throat's still messed up, that I never say I'm the second wheel, and like Lex and Skylar always do, but I'm always like, forget. So yeah, I forget that. Today I'm going to do my top 10 favorite movies with a twist. Um, my favorite movies and some of their book counterparts. Some of them don't have book counterparts, and some of them I don't have the book counterparts. But we will try our best to do that. Um, my top, my number ten favorite movie. I have this nailed down, and then I went to Skylar and Alexa's house, and I did it. And I was like, "Dang it, guys!" So I was like, "Princess Bride, of course." But then I went to their house. And we watched Ella Enchanted. I was like, I thought I had it figured out, but I didn't. Um, so, yeah. So, Princess Bride or Ella Enchanted. That's a flip. Beauty and the Beast. Do I have that with me? No, I don't. Oh, no, I do. I have the DVD. Beauty and the Beast. Oh. Um, so, yeah. And I also have a book of it. I don't know where, like, it originated from. I don't know if it was a story. I don't think it's... Oh, uh, it's a Christian Anderson story. And I found a book of it, but it just seemed like it was kind of, like... Someone decided to make a book out of it after it was already a story. So I don't know, like, if there's actually, like, a book version of that. Um, Annie. I loved Annie. Like, I saw, especially the new Annie. I liked the old Annie, but, like, like not that much. <laughs> um, and, yeah. I saw the new Annie in the theaters, and I was like, this is so much fun. And we went to the fun theater. So, it was so fun. But I really love Annie, and it's so uplifting, and it's so cute. I love her. The next one is Anastasia. Anastasia. I already put that for my favorite musicals, but obviously the movie is different than the musical. Um, I don't think there's like an Anastasia book. Like, obviously Anastasia was real and she actually died. But, spoiler alert, did 20, 20th Century Fox lies to you. But, um, I know there was like autobiographies, like those like ones that would pretend to be their diaries, but really they just took stuff from history and try sorry, I'm yawning. And try to personalize it, but I don't think there was like like kind of akin to other things. I don't think there was like a story but oh and with Ella Enchanted I actually read the book. It was kind of different. I don't remember. I read it a while ago so but yeah, so I don't think this has like a fairy tale book to like actually sort of happen. Um, my next one is Madeline. I first saw Madeline. I was probably like seven or eight, and after that, my friend and I were like, oh, "Let's start an orphanage." Fun. So we're like, okay, I have seven cents today. You have eleven cents. Let's put it together and make. So like, at one point, we ended up having like at the most twenty dollars, but it was probably like all in change. But we just saw this and we were like, oh, want to start orphanage? Which I don't think every, not all the girls there were orphans, but you know, Madeline. I love that, and I have some of the books for Madeline. Madeline's Christmas. They're abused because I had them when I was five. This one's just Madeline. Um, I also watched the cartoons of Madeline, and I really like those. And they're so fun, and I have a lot of good memories of the cartoons. The next one, which I thought I grabbed the movie. Oh, I did. So, I have that Madeline, but I also have a Matilda Madeline, like, one DVD. But, so, Matilda, and I have the book for Matilda. I really liked Matilda because, like, Prodigy, super smart. I thought that was interesting. And, like, like the whimsical added to it. 
as well. Ooh, I'm yawning today. And I also kind of really liked Matilda because I related to Matilda because I read a lot. Um, and like at the very end, the heartwarmingness of Matilda. So awesome. The next movie, which you need to be able to, like, you need to be ready to cry your eyes out if you read this, or if you watch this movie or read the book, Little Women. Mm. I watched, I read the book, and I watched this, and I was like, oh my gosh, it was, oh, it was a rough time. Um, I have the book here, too. I got this when I was like nine or ten, and I read it. I think I was nine when I read it. And I remember reading it one day, and I was reading a really sad part, and I was like crying. And my brother came up to me and he was like, "Are you okay, Claire?" I'm fine. It's just this book. And he was like, "Okay." What? So, yeah, I cried reading this book. I haven't read this book in forever, but it's such a good book, and I love it. And the movie, and the movie's a little different than the book, but, like, they're both still amazing. So, um, okay. I don't, Frozen, Frozen. Um, people are going to be like, Frozen was a trend, Claire, but I really like Frozen. It's beautiful. And they're sisters. And true love. Oh my gosh. And like, honestly, I didn't see the Hans thing coming when I first watched it. Obviously, it was like, I would have been like 11 or 12, so I maybe wasn't that smart. But like, I believed in him, and then I was like, what? But I really like Frozen. And the book counterpart would probably be The Snow Queen, which I have. I don't know if I've read The Snow Queen, but it's a Hans Christian Andersen one. It might just be, is it? Yeah, The Snow Queen. I feel like I might have read it once. Like one time. But it's very different. Like it's based on it. But it's very different than The Snow Queen. Okay. This next one, my second favorite. People are going to be like, what is this? Um, the Secret of Grown Inish. You're going to be like, that sounds weird. It's like an indie movie set in like Ireland. This girl, I think her mom died. I don't like taking care of by her aunt and uncle or grandparents or something. But it's about silkies. And like most people I tell don't know what silkies are. But it's basically... The seal that looks like a seal, but it's not really a seal. It's a woman inside a seal skin. And they, when they, like, take off their seal skin and they're, like, swimming and relaxing, if a guy grabs their seal skin, then, like, she's, like, theirs or whatever and they get married or whatever. But he has to hide her, her seal skin from her because if she finds it, she has to go back to the ocean. And, like, it's supposed to be, like, a metaphor for, like, the dark Irish. And they're, they all, like, the silkies have, like, the dark hair and the dark eyes and, like, the different complexion. It's supposed to be a metaphor for, like, all the people that came from, like, Spain and, like, the Iberian Peninsula. I think that's the right word. Because um, they were, like, the wanderers and the travelers. And, like, they're, like, they had to go back to the ocean type thing. So, yeah. And one time I, like randomly threw out that title there like we we're talking about favorite movies and I was like cough cough secret of Ronanish and like the makeup lady for one of the shows I was in was like oh, secret of Ronanish I know that movie and I was like you know that movie nobody knows that movie so it was, I was like you're perfect like awesomeness just went up so many percent um so yeah I love the secret of Ronanish and I'm probably not saying it right so um, my number one, which also appeared on my on my top ten musicals, and I think was that number one on that too, but Mary Poppins. I can't find my DVD, Mary Poppins, of the movie, and I know it's somewhere because we like watched it recently because I showed it to my little brother. 
but I do have the books of them. I read all, well, most of them. So, Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins comes back. And Mary Poppins opens the door. Mary Poppins opens the door. Reading that is like, however old I was, I was like, what is this? It was so, like, trippy. One thing I have to say is I'm, like, kind of salty about them doing a sequel and saying it's a sequel and saying that they pull from Mary Poppins Comes Back, which I guess is similar to Nanny McBee Returns or whatever. But the thing is, the original Mary Poppins movie took stories from all of the books and compiled them into one movie. So, they used all the books. So, like, saying it's a sequel, they... Just no. Just no. It's not. They already took... Yeah. And I might do a rant on that later. With more specifics and how I feel. But, yeah. So, Mary Poppins, let's go through them all again. Princess Bride slash Enchanted, BD and the Beast, Annie, Anastasia, Matilda, uh, Anastasia... Madeline, Matilda, Little Women, Frozen, The Secret of Rome, and Ish, Mary Poppins. Those are my top 10 favorite movies and some of their book characters. I hope you like this video. I was yawning a lot. Like, a lot. Oh, and another thing. We got a puppy. We named him Gee Buttersnap because of Psych. But he's also, like, golden. So he looks like butter. So we just call him Butters. He's so cute. He's he turned nine weeks today. He's really cute. Yeah, I would show him to you, but he's playing with everyone else. But it's still fun. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me what you think, but don't scream at me because that's not nice. Okay, see you later, alligator. Bye.